and the Secret Service under fire. And the White House dons some green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. For that, here's WOWT's Jacqueline Policastro. The new head of the Secret Service was grilled by House lawmakers today. Joseph Clancy was there to talk about the agency's budget, but instead was repeatedly questioned about two agents involved in an alleged drunken incident outside of the White House. Clancy acknowledged there is a culture of alcohol abuse within the Secret Service and that it needs to be changed. The incident involved two senior level agents. President Obama's spokesman defended Clancy, saying he's the right person for the job. He takes very seriously the responsibility that he has as the director to influence and reform the culture at that agency, and he talked about that in his testimony today. Uh, and I think that uh, is a very clear indication that he's the right person for this very difficult job. Nebraska and Iowa continue to show improvements in the job market. The national unemployment figure in January was 5.7 percent. New figures out today show that in Nebraska, it stood at 2.9 percent, the second lowest in the country, just behind North Dakota. Iowa is 12th best in the country with 4.2 percent. And the White House is getting into the St. Patrick's Day spirit. The water running through the South Lawn Fountains is bright green today, just in time for the arrival of Irish Prime Minister Edna Kenny. For WOWT 6 News in Washington, D.C., I'm Jacqueline Policastro. During his visit, the Irish Prime Minister says the U.S. immigration policies were a priority for Ireland, and he urged Congress to follow Obama's lead on the issue.